What's up, Collider TV Talk fans? The ghost of Josh McCuga, not in <laughs> studio, uh, calling directly from a hotel room here in Seattle, Washington. Dad, I miss you terribly. How's things, buddy? Uh, things are good. I miss you, too. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I hope you're having fun up in Seattle. Yeah. I, well, I haven't left the hotel yet today, to be honest with you. I mean... Uh, I woke up, went to the, to the gym, and then had to uh, record an episode of the afternoons, and then had to call you. Well, that, so. that makes sense. I assume you're wearing a hotel robe of some sort. Maybe some slippers. Yeah, I am actually. It's what's crazy is the hotel rope here is a uh, it's leopard print. Ooh. So I kind of feel like I'm like uh, uh, Richter. What's the guy's name that's always tan? Hamilton. What's his last, first name? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I know who you're. George Hamilton. George Hamilton. George, George Hamilton. Hamilton. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's great. Um, I'm I plan. I think we're going to do the uh, a panel after this at the Comic Con, which is basically right across the street. So. Oh, cool. Just living the dream. Just living the dream. Yeah. Um, so I guess, do you want to lead it since I can't really look at the rundown? <laughs> sure, <first>? sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, we got a lot of, we got a lot of news here. We got some top stories, yeah. uh, some big, big news here for the game of Thrones fans. Uh, it turns out <laughs> that everyone thought that the episodes were going to be like, you know, three, four hours an episode. Uh, we actually got some run times that are now saying the first couple episodes are really only going to be like 55 minutes. And then the end ones are only going to be about 80 so I guess well, people are really okay. pissed about this, right? Well, first, first question for you is, do you hate talking about Game of Thrones as much as I dislike talking about Star Trek? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it hurts that you say that. I, I don't mind talking about Game of Thrones. Uh, I, it hurts that I say it. Yeah, I do. I do wish that uh, you know. I think that the, I think this is kind of funny because it's one of those situations where the fandom really kind of expected something, and they were kind yeah. of to in in their defense. I feel like it was kind of teased for a long time that these were going to be supersized episodes, and yeah. there's a lot of story left for them to wrap up in these six hours. And so for them to finally announce that it's really, or not, not officially announced, but like for the word to get out that it's really only going to be about the same as before in terms of the runtime, right. I, I, I do find right. it a little strange because they've only got six episodes to, to put together okay. this massive story. Here's, here's my thoughts, right, is first of all, nobody's ever going to be happy because everybody's freaking out that we only have a little bit of Game of Thrones left, right? Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. They told us. And then they told us that there was going to be each episode was going to be supersized. I mean, the, the head of HBO came out and said that we were talking about it on TV talk. Was it, are we so sure that he when, wasn't just at McDonald's and like there was like a hot <laughs> mic? <laughs> I miss supersized. That stupid Morgan Spurlock ruined it for everybody. The <laughs> supersized fry, <laughs> though it was extremely unhealthy and probably caused me to gain weight. Was just a great amount of French fries. Anyway, we were told we were given super. We were going to get super sized episodes, like hour twenty, hour thirty, and then the first two episodes come out and say fifty five, which means we only have four episodes after that. Now eighty minutes is great. There's an hour, that's hour twenty, yeah, which is what it is. And uh, Roxy freaked out on Collider Live about it, which you can see every single day on the, the Collider Channel, um, and and saying like, who cares? It's what they want. You're not a part of the show. But I I think it's like. Because we were we were promised a certain level, and then we didn't get that, and especially in the Game of Thrones world where nobody overreacts. Ever. <laughs> uh, the, the we were just we we're upset. Everybody has to overreact about something that we were sort of promised. We want like nine more seasons of Game of Thrones, but six episodes, yada yada yada. Uh, we only get you know. I guess if you look at the total runtime of these six episodes, we're looking at like eight hours. So yeah, basically like eight episodes. That makes right? sense. No, that's fair. That's a good way to look at it. I, I, an eight hour, yeah. an eight hour wrap up is not unheard of. I think it's yeah. I th I think if they hadn't if they hadn't come out so much uh, and vocally said that this was going to be like an action packed super sized finale, I'm sure every episode is going right. to feel massive because they're going to be throwing all this money into it for these big epic uh, showdowns at the end of the series, but. I, I don't know. I mean, who knows? I'm always of the opinion that shows should be the length 
that they should be. Like, it shouldn't be locked into 46, 46 minutes and 25 seconds or whatever it is for network television. Right. And it shouldn't right. be forced to be a 90-minute show just because someone said that it needs to be a 90-minute show. Like, I, right. I I think the prime example was, and we've talked about this in the show before, that those those lay, later seasons of Sons of Anarchy where they just let Kurt, <laughs> yeah. they let Kurt I, Sutter... Yeah, I'm just going to bring that up. They, le, they let Kurt Sutter up. do, like, two hours on a show and it's like, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> that that was a 20-minute no. music montage uh, be, <laughs> because you wanted to get Katie Siegel's music on the show. Like, it wasn't necessary. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. if the if the, the writers and the editors know that it's going to be, you know, this is the this is how long it should be, then by all means, don't overstuff it. No, and, and I think what what I like about it too is okay, and, and people you can you can come at me as much as you want, but I have said all along I think shorter seasons are the best way to go about television, and because we're getting six episodes, and he's like, oh, he's pissed now because they're not longer. Well, why does this make it a thirteen <laughs> episode season? I'm like, well, okay, go f yourself. But this is like the ultimate ending of the biggest TV show in the history of television. I mean, you can you're going to put it up against just about anything. You can say Mash or whatever you want to say about all the season finales, Seinfeld, Friends, Sons of Anarchy all that kind of stuff. But as far as world zeitgeist, this is the biggest finale in the history of television. And yep. we're getting six episodes. People are jonesing for this content. We waited two years for it. So for them to come out and be like, the first two episodes are 55 minutes. You're like, okay, well, you just told us the battle, battle for Winterfell. You almost killed nine people. So, you know, where is it? Where is all the length? Where is all this production going if we're only getting the first two episodes at 55 minutes? That's what I think people are kind of freaking out about. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. I mean, I think that it's it's going to be one of those things where I'm sure that the 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 complaints will end the moment it premieres. That yes. and at the same time, I think HBO is also making a calculated decision that they want you wanting more, whether it's more yeah. they want you I'm hoping I think the producers and everyone are making sure that the finale is completely satisfying. But they yeah. want you want they want you to want more because they already have the prequel series in development, uh -huh. and they they're they're banking on another decade of Game of Thrones content. So That's a good point. If 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 everyone leaves being like this was every single moment of Game of Thrones I ever needed in my life, then that doesn't really help yep. their business model. So the no, idea I'm of like, it just kind I'm of like, like a little bit of a little bit of a, a a wish and a hope to see that like one thing that happens off screen. Uh, that can that can be a whole other show right there. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you think? And, well, I mean, I guess this is a hard question for you, but do you think that the Game of Thrones spinoff will have more buzz than Better Call Saul? Um, hmm. I think it's a tough one because it's a prequel that's set so far back from the initial run of Game of Thrones that I yeah. think it's going to have a huge. I think it's going to have bigger buzz. Just because it's an HBO show with a ton of money behind it, I think, and right. and the game and the Game of Thrones franchise is the largest, like you said, the largest television series of all time. And I think that just by and large, everyone's going to know, everyone's going to know that this is happening more so than they right. knew that uh, that there was a Breaking Bad prequel, and or even right. that there's a Breaking Bad movie, like TV movie in the works. I think that there's, you know, I think that this one is going to be, you know, Game of Thrones is going to be on every billboard, whatever, whatever iconic imagery they can come up with, with like, you know, the building of the throne or whatever it is, whatever it is that they can like, they can take the iconic shot that you know and love and then yeah. put it, put twist it on its head and say like, oh, this is what it looked like 10,000 years earlier. So they're going to, they're going to pull out all the stops and HBO is going to make it a massive show. I, I like the fact that even 10,000 years before this, there's still no tech, technological advancements. It's still just swords and dragons. Exactly. Like everybody's just like, forget it. We don't need any technology. We're still just living in the dark ages.